What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, continuing our series on learning SketchUp in 30 days by creating a walkthrough animation inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I'm actually giving a presentation on animations at Basecamp. So this is obviously something that I'm fairly passionate about. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create an animation inside of the free version of SketchUp. Um, this kind of applies to the desktop version as well, except the desktop version has export functionality. But to start off, we're gonna use the Modern House by Muhammad C. You can download this from the SketchUp 3D warehouse and follow along if you decide that you want to do that. And so um, one limitation, and I kind of just touched on this, I guess, one limitation of the free version of SketchUp is it does not give you the ability to export your animations to an animation file, at least as of this video. Um, hopefully that's something they add in the future. It seems like something that should be in here, but I'm not seeing it. So just be aware of that. There's still definitely value in creating these different walkthrough animations and let's talk about that a little bit. If you're using the desktop version, you can definitely export this to like an MP4 file or something like this. But let's go ahead and let's create our animation. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to toggle to a style um, or I'm gonna adjust this style so that it doesn't have profiles in here because that's slowing down my model. So I'm just going to adjust that. But now let's jump over into the scenes section right here. So we're gonna click on scenes. Let me get rid of some of these other windows. But remember the scenes section is where you can save information about your different views, right? So let's say for example, that we were to be on the side of this building right here. So I'm gonna start a scene from this point. Well, there's a little button on the right hand side that says add scene. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna save your current scene information inside of the free version of SketchUp. Now, if we rotate away from this, and then we click back in here, what that's gonna do is that's gonna rotate your camera back to that position, right? So wherever I go, if I click on this, it's gonna bring me back to that position. Well, what we can do with this is we can actually use this to set up different camera locations. So for example, I could set this camera location right here, maybe use the look around tool so that I can see this house a little bit more, but then I could click on the plus button right here. Well, now what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have two scenes. And so if I click between scene one and scene two, this is going to transition your animation to this location right here. And so what SketchUp does is it smoothly transitions your camera between those two points. Now, notice how if you go into your settings right here, there's a box in here for enable scene transitions. If you uncheck the box for enable scene transitions, this is just gonna jump between your different views. So if that's not animating for whatever reason, make sure that that's checked. The other thing you can do with this checked is you can set the transition time and the delay time. So the transition time is gonna set how long it takes to move between scenes, right? So if I change my transition time to five seconds and then click on the play button, notice how this is going to wait five seconds before running this transition because it's giving scene one five seconds. But then when it plays the transition between scene one and scene two, that's now going to take five seconds instead of the original two seconds. So you can use this to set both the transition time, which is the speed at which this transitions between the views and the delay time, meaning if this waits for a second before transitioning to the next view. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my delay time. We'll go ahead and leave it at one. Actually, that probably gives us a nice comfortable speed, but then I'm gonna add a couple more views. And so now if I start at scene one and click play, it's gonna animate the transition between my different scenes. So it's gonna take three seconds between each one of these. It's gonna delay for a second before moving to the next one. And then it's gonna move forward to the next location right here. Now, one thing I don't like about this scene is it doesn't show the room very well. Right, you can't really see this whole space. It's just kind of like way too zoomed in. Well, what you can do is you can actually go into your camera settings. There we go. So we want to click into the uh, where the orbit tool is shown and we want to click on the option for zoom. Well, notice how when I select the option for zoom, I can change the field of view of this camera. So if I change this to 55 instead of 35, what that's doing is that's making my camera show a larger field of view. Well, remember that in these scenes in SketchUp, this is not only saving information about the camera location, it's also saving things about the camera settings, it's saving what's hidden and what's shown, other things like that, the styles. So if I click on okay, 
that's going to save this. Well, now if I click between scene three and scene four, notice how not only does this animate the transition between this location, it also animates the transition between your previous field of view and your new field of view. And you can kind of see this stretch out in the background as that field of view adjusts. And so one other thing to note about this is not only can you animate movements, you can also animate styles. So let's say I get in here and I want this to look different, right? Well, what I can do is I can create a new scene right here and I can go into my styles and I can pick a different style. And so let's go ahead and use one of these as a base, maybe like the shaded, but then I'm going to click into the shaded and under my face settings, I'm going to set this to hidden line and I'm going to turn my profiles to on. So something like this is probably going to be good. Then I'm going to click on done to save that in my scene. And I'm going to click on the update button right here to update the change that I made. So now if I update this, this, I can go from scene four to scene five, and this is going to transition this animation to this scene. So you can also set the transition in here and maybe I want my camera to move a little bit. So I might click in here and use like the position camera tool. To look back this way. And I'm going to set the height of this to maybe like six feet, something like that. And I'm going to update this. So I'm going to click on OK. And anytime you make a change to a scene and you want to update it, you can click on this little pair of round arrows right here. But now if I go from scene four to scene five, it's going to transition my camera view and it's also going to transition the style in here. And so one thing I will note about this, and we can go ahead and play this whole animation, is on the online version, this can be a little bit slow if you start dealing with the more complex styles. So you can see how this plays through, but when I was clicking to the scene where it was changing the styles, it was just a little bit slower. But we've still got this nice walkthrough animation that we have right here where our animation actually transitions to this other style. But if you want to do these more advanced animations with the style transitions and other things like that, I really recommend that you uh, try doing it with the desktop version because it also has video export in the desktop version. All right, so I'll link to the next video in this series on this page as soon as it's ready to go. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.